poison, something that kills growth. It destroys things, it complicates things, it ends things. Poison comes in all shapes and sizes. It takes you off guard, it can sneak in when you're least expecting it. It can be anywhere and everywhere. Have you ever seen it when you're scrolling? Flipping between Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, or Snapchat. Looking for community, looking for connection, but not like this, not through a phone. Poison, comparison, I wish I looked like that. Why aren't I as smart as them? What if I lived in a house like that? I wish I were better. Staring at yourself in the mirror, picking out the things you can't change. Scrolling through Instagram, looking for validation, crying ourselves to sleep over the things we wish we had. Wishing we were anybody but ourselves. Comparison is poison. Words. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Except they do. Group chat gossip, Snapchat sarcasm, cyberbullying through Instagram DMs. The power of words. Words can be poison. Unforgiveness. How could I forget what they said to me? They don't understand how hard it would be. They haven't even told me they were sorry. Those messages that cut you deep. The words they can't take back. The pain that you will never forget. What if I can't forgive them? Unforgiveness is poison. It's easy to build a wall to keep all of our emotions and thoughts inside. If you keep people away, they can't hurt you, right? Comparison, words, unforgiveness, bitterness. It's just easier that way. But what if we aren't called to easy? Isaiah 43, 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Jesus promises us redemption. Jesus promises us newness. Jesus promises us freedom. Freedom from the hurt, the pain, the bitterness, the shame. Freedom from the screens. Freedom from the constant noise that fills our brain with messages saying, you aren't enough. Just try harder. Fix yourself. But Jesus says, my child, you are enough. My child, the work is done. My child, you have been forgiven. It's time to rest. Time to rest in the promise that Jesus sees you. Jesus knows you, Jesus loves you, and he wants to set you free. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you guys next week.